Hi, welcome to this tutorial about a robust one-way ANOVA with R. This video is part of a series with robust statistical methods in R. You'll find the link to the playlist in the description of this video. Here we want to compare the means of three independent groups and we want to do it in a robust way. First, let's look at the data. We have three groups and visually we can detect that the first group, group 0, is different. It looks like it has a lower mean value, a higher variance and outliers. So it's quite likely that some assumptions for the normal ANOVA are violated. Nevertheless, let's start with a normal ANOVA and a normal postdoc test. Based on those results, we don't have significant group differences. And looking at the post-hoc test with Bonferroni adjustment, we don't have significant differences between pairs of groups. Of course, we wouldn't run those pairwise tests with a non-significant ANOVA, but this is just for comparison with later results. So the first possible robust method would be the cross calwellis test. However, even that test has assumptions. All groups we compare should have more or less the same variance, and the distribution should be of the same form in all three groups. As we've seen in the box plot, here probably those assumptions are violated. Nevertheless, let's look at the results of the kruskal wallace test. The kruskal wallace test detects the differences, so we have a significant test result here. And looking at the pairwise comparisons, group 0 to 1 is not significant, group 0 to 2 is significant, and group 1 to 2 is not significant. So the postdoc test detected the difference between those two groups, but not between those two groups. Now to a modern robust method for comparing means. For that we need the library WRS2. Of course, the first time you use it, you have to install it first. This robust one-way ANOVA is based on trimmed means, so the most extreme values in each group are cut off. It's based on something similar to the Welsh test, so it can deal with heteroskedasticity, that is, with different variances in the different groups. And it uses bootstrapping. Bootstrapping, of course, is a robust method that doesn't need normality. Here we see the results. The robust test shows a significant group difference. Now let's look at the post-hoc test. If we use this robust post-hoc test, it's very important only to look at the confidence interval. The p-value is not adjusted for multiple comparison whereas the confidence interval is adjusted for multiple comparison. So here, for comparison 0 to 1, the confidence interval, that is the bootstrap confidence interval, does not include the 0, so it's significant. The difference between group 0 and group 2, the confidence interval does not include the 0, so it's significant. And for comparing group 1 to group 2, the confidence interval does include the 0, so it's not significant. So this robust post-hoc test detects the group difference between those two groups and between those two groups. The standard trim fraction, that is, the percentage of extreme cases on both sides that are cut off, is 0.2. You could change that, but in most cases I wouldn't do it, and you get into problems with a post-hoc test, because there you get some error messages in that case. This would be the result for our example with a trim fraction of only 0.1. You can find the complete R code for this tutorial on a companion web page. The link is in the description. So that's it for a robust one-way ANOVA with R. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. Thank you so much for watching.